Tausho Buddha's message of blessings. Since the beginning of the week, messages and wishes have been pouring from seekers and friends world over. I wish to express my love for all those who have sent their messages. It is almost impossible to acknowledge each message personally, yet this message is my personal acknowledgement to each one of you. I wondered how I should acknowledge your wishes. My message of awareness is blessing and acknowledgement for each one of you along the path of inward journey. This day, therefore, as acknowledgement, I share my being, my presence with you through this short message. Before Albert Einstein, the existence was divided into time and space. Both time and space were considered separate from one another. Albert Einstein is the harbinger of great revolution that changed the entire thinking and the way of looking at the existence. Albert gave a new way, new approach and new dimension. According to him, time and space are not separate. Instead, both are two sides of the same coin. Albert coined a new word, a new concept, spatio-time. Time is another aspect or dimension of sky, space according to Hindu scriptures. A sky represents a space. A sky refers to infinite space unbounded by anything finite. Verily, when you look at the existence from the side of the time, everything will appear to be different and separate. And when you look at the existence from the side of the sky, you will experience oneness, bliss and utter emptiness. The sky is for time action becomes relevant. Time is constantly moving at a tremendous speed. Whatever you attain is within time. Time is action oriented. The sky is infinite space unmoving. The sky always is. You have to go nowhere. Wherever you are, the sky is. This brings harmony and oneness. Man is mind and mind is time oriented. Mind lives in time. Being is a sky, a space oriented. It is oneness. You have nothing to do and that is all. Nowhere to go and nothing to do. This is beingness. This is enlightenment. No duality, just oneness, harmony and bliss. I am now. Yesterday I was not. And tomorrow too, I will not be. When I dissolve or die, as you know, you will not die. So too with my birth, you will not assume birth. I am separate from you. Everything is separate from one another in time. Time defines everything but as separate entity. Spiritually, the sky refers to space, both inner and outer. A space is undivided like sky, it is vast to spread like a canopy. Time divides everything. Time is the source of division. When you look at the existence from the side of the time, 
there is division there is always hurry time is fleeting and you have miles to go before dust into dust to disappear time leads to language doing resolution and effort only then you will reach somewhere the stream of time divides everything time divides therefore when you look at the existence from time you will see diversity all around duality of divisions and when you approach the existence from a sky side the space side you will find unity and oneness all around this totality this oneness this harmony is your nature to attain to flowering and godliness is your destiny allow your inner bliss and harmony to manifest through your life and each action remember in such manifestation total harmony oneness and bliss is embedded however however if your manifestation is only of your harmony not that of existence then this is ego the way of flowering implies disappearance of ego and duality then you are infinite like the vast sky you are vast like a sky and unfathomable like the ocean with birth human body comes into existence as aggregate of many qualities qualities of the body mind and intellect that which enters the body is unmoving that which enters the body is unmoving eternal the infinite eternal assumes the form this is birth try to understand this with an example you bought a clay pot from the market there is an empty space within the pot you call this as pot space because this space is within the pot conditioned only a very limited part of the sky is encased within the pot with the pot you move towards the home do you think the space within the pot remains the same the inner space keeps on changing but the sky the space remains unmoving still with the clay pot only that much space the sky comes that was inside the pot when you bought it however the infinite sky remains there without any change unmoving you bring the pot home but the space within the pot remains ever unchanging same and the sky outside remains the same your being is like a sky eternal unmoving infinite body has its nature qualities etc so is the mind so is the emotions so is the intellect human body is like clay pot the body moves with you but not the inner space the taste of this inner space and living by such experience ever blissful is enlightenment the taste of this inner space and living by such experience ever blissful is enlightened i have heard once mulla nasruddin was traveling in a train the train was moving at its speed but mulla too was galloping inside the compartment puffing and sweating i inquired what is the matter mulla replied that he is in a great hurry as he has to reach somewhere quickly and time was fleeting the train is in motion then it does not matter if you are stationary or in motion when the train is in motion at a certain speed 
then your movement is meaningless. Your body is like the wheel that goes on moving, but nothing moves within. You are sitting at one place and then move to another place. You were standing and now you sit down. Someone was rich and now become poor. All such changes takes place on the surface. Deep within, nothing changes. Recognize that which remains unmanifest and hidden within you. Your innerness gets nourished without nourishment, moves without movement. Always remain unchanged, one way, harmonious and blissful. Like Mullah Nasruddin, you too are galloping in the moving train. The moment this becomes your realization, then you do not have to leave thinking. Instant thinking dissolves on its own. You do not have to leave any attachments or any desires or vastness. These leave you by themselves. You realize its futility. Embedded with many qualities, human body comes into existence. Body undergoes various changes from birth to death. It passes through various realms of birth, childhood, youth, old age, disease and health. Myriad stages the body undergoes. However, that which is hidden within the clay pot remains unchanging. This is the matter of understanding or awareness. You can cover the clay pot with gold or silver layer or still diamonds matters nothing. The inner space remains unchanging and unaffected of gold, silver or diamonds. You may think the sky within the gold pot will differ than the space within the clay or silver pot. The outer covering as beauty or ugliness matters nothing. The being never comes, moves or goes anywhere. It always remains like the vast canopy of, of the sky lay stretched over you. The being never comes, moves or goes anywhere. It always remains like the vast canopy of the sky lay stretched over you. Atma naganta na aganta kim an anushochati. Atma naganta neither comes, na aganta neither goes. Kim an anushochati. Then why do you? worry about anything, why do you think? Then why and what to think about? In the inner realm nothing changes. At the center there is no movement and nothing to do or gain. Nothing is lost or gained, expanded or contracted. Your inner space is like the vast sky. Sometimes clouds converge. Rain follows, clouds disappear, sun shines. Sometimes there is clear sky, other times the sky is cloudy. Night comes, darkness spreads. Then sun rises, the rays of light disseminate light all around. Such is the vision of harmony and oneness. This is enlightened vision, the vision of a Buddha. One who is aware and knows. Chaitan is your form and nature. The body, the finite, may last till eternity or may dissolve this very moment. Your bliss, awareness, Chaitan never changes. Then why do you bother about mind, emotions, and intellect? Kwa buddhi, kwa chava, Anistva chinamatra rupinam. Kwa buddhi, why worry about intellect? 
क्वाचा वाई टू वरी अबाउट एनीथिंग एल्स वह हानिस तो अबाउट लॉस और गेन चिन्ह मात्र रूप न योर वेरी नेचर योर वेरी फॉर्म इज ब्लिस इज चैतन्य लाइक अ कॉस्मिक वेव यू एस्यूम फॉर्म एंड डिजॉल्व अकॉर्डिंग टू योर नेचर इन द इन्फिनिट ओशन देयर फॉर वट एवर इज हैपनिंग इज बिकॉज ऑफ योर नेचर ट्रांसेंडेंस इज बिहाइंड ईच हैपनिंग डिजायर्स अराइज ओल्ड एज कम्स एंड डिजायर्स वैनिश नीदर द डिजायर नॉर एनीथिंग एल्स बिलोंग टू यू ऑल बिलोंग्स टू द इन्फिनिट यू आर पार्ट ऑफ दैट अलो Sometimes you are thief other times you act saintly there is nothing worth leaving or acquiring no choice just be choiceless this is nirvikal bodh or choiceless awareness whatever waves are arising on the surface of life's ocean that is essentially the nature of life your form is bliss be choiceless be a witness to all that is happening tat chinmatr tatr chinmatr rupo asi name bhinne midam jagat at kas katham kutra he yo pade kalpana your form and nature is bliss tat chinmatr rupo asi your form is blissful नमे भिन्न इदम जगत इट इज नॉट सेपरेट फ्रॉम एनीथिंग एल्स फ्रॉम द जगत फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड अथ कस्य कथम कुत्र हे यो पादे ये कल्पना देर इज नो नीड ऑफ एनी इमेजिनेशन और एनीथिंग जस्ट ए चॉइसलेस योर फॉर्म एंड नेचर इज ब्लिस एंड योर रेल्म डज नॉट डिफर ऑल डाइवर्सिटीज फॉर्म एट्सेट्रा are of the surface they within you and i are one on the circumference there are divisions and differences at the center there is oneness and harmony bliss is the manifestation of such innerness your innerness is like the axle that remains unmoving and all the movements and changes happen on that begin the journey from the circumference to the center to recognize the axle is the state of samadhi know this as enlightenment thanks to each one of you who has sent out shobhuta the message on this day may you attain to your innerness this is my certitude one day you will attain to flowering it matters not if i am around or not existence goes on assuming myriad forms as buddhas let's pray this very moment buddham sharanam gacchami sangham sharanam gacchami dharmam sharanam gacchami बुद्धम शरण गघम शरण गर्म शरण ग